Hi, I am Ashish Nandi and I will give you a brief report about our recent paper Rational Design of Peptide Vaccines Against Multiple Types of Human Papillomavirus. Papillomavirus is a disease that affects almost all populations around the world. The papillomaviruses occur in many different types. Human papillomavirus, HPV in short, of types 5, 10, 11, 16, 18, 33, 35, 45 and so on. Some of these cause cancers, cervical cancers and genital cancers of which HPV 16 and 18 are the major culprits. Then there are other HPV types, 33, 35, 45, etc., which also contribute to the cervical cancers. Now, there are vaccines available against these cancer-causing HPVs. These are mostly available in Western countries and they are too expensive to produce and therefore too expensive to, for uh, people in the developing nations where a large number of such cancers are occurring on a regular basis. It is therefore necessary to think in other terms of how vaccines could be produced. There is a new paradigm now where vaccines are produced by looking at the protein sequences of the viruses that attack, that cause the infection. And one looks at those parts of the proteins which uh, could be used by the body's defense mechanisms to prevent this infection. Human uh, papilloma virus, uh, I'll, I'll show you the L1 protein, which is a surface protein. This is a surface protein that is part of the papilloma virus particle. What we have done is we have taken a look at this L1 protein. The actual protein is in a pentameric structure. The five colored proteins are shown here. And in any one of these proteins, we look at those parts which are surface situated and which can elicit immune uh, response. These can be identified. This is, in this blue colored protein, we have shown through yellow color one such segment. So there could be many other segments like this. One can use these segments to produce peptide vaccines. We have in our paper shown how to identify such lesions and what are the tests that one should do to ensure that they can act as uh, immune eliciting uh, regions. One can then use these peptides to produce a peptide vaccine that can have more than one peptide. Also, such peptide vaccines could be a combination of various um, HPV types, 16, 18, 33, whatever is required. We have shown in our paper, which is a concept paper, that this can be done. However, it still requires laboratory tests. Ours is a bioinformatics theoretical paper. It requires laboratory tests to verify that this is indeed so and that these can be used as uh, immune response generators. If they work, then combinations of these can be used for various populations where different frequencies and different types of papillomaviruses actually do the infection and cause cancers. Thank you.